Hi, welcome to Juice Bar. Today we're gonna mix a Toffee Negroni. So today we continue our exploration of uh, Amontillado Sherry, mixing this variation on a Negroni by Lynette Marrero, according to a website I found. And uh, let's mix it, it's pretty easy. Let's try it. We start in a mixing glass with uh, 30 milliliters of Amontillado Sherry. I'm gonna use this Suleta. I was given as a present, really welcome. And then we go on with uh, Aperol. I guess the sherry is in place of a sweet vermouth, the Aperol is in place of the Campari, of the traditional Negroni. And in place of the gin, we're gonna have some aged rum. I'm gonna use this uh, plantation Xaimaka, which is excellent pot steel blended rum from Jamaica. Really good for the price. I never tried this cocktail before, so I'm just guessing this Xaimaka could be okay. We just get some ice. And we give this a stir. I'm really not a candy eater. We never have candies in uh, our home. But yeah, to fees, uh, we used to eat them uh, in Italy. The, especially the Ela. It's uh, spelled E-L-A-H. I don't know what the brand is from. We call it Elac in Italy. I don't know why the K at the end instead of the H. But yeah, was it good? Toffee. It's gonna be really bad for your tifu. I think we already stirred this enough because anyway we are gonna be pouring it over ice. Let me get a round ice for this uh, round tumbler. There you go. Let's strain this. And let's finish with some grapefruit peel. Actually, Difford said orange peel. Another website I checked said grapefruit peel. I actually don't have orange, so grapefruit is perfect for me. Let's give this a squeeze. So let's slide it there in the corner. And there you go, a Toffee Negroni. Cheers. Nice. Grapefruit peel on the smell test. Oh. Oh. This is a nice use of the sherry. As I said in other videos, I think sherry can be misused in cocktails because of its lack of body. But here, the body is all made up by the rum, which is excellent. Actually, sometimes I didn't drink this one. This is really good. The Aperol complements this really well with some lightness. It's, Aperol is way lighter than Campari and less spicy. It brings orange and sweetness, not much bitterness, which fill in what uh, the Amontillado lacks, but the Amontillado mixes perfectly. It's really nutty. Yeah, it's really toffee. It's incredible. It tastes like that. Great combination. The grapefruit peel is also perfectly matched. Wow, nice drink. It's not spicy. As an aperitive, I think it will lose against uh, some uh, uh, sharper Negroni recipes. This is a more of a mellow thing. Better after dinner, in my opinion. Or for a long night, just having some uh, snacks. Before dinner, I would probably prefer something a bit sharper. But this is really excellent. 
way to go. Great combination. This is a really good recipe. Try it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with anybody you like and don't like. See yourself a drink and hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers. So, Toffee is actually the name of a song by Vasco Rossi from the early 80s. Vasco Rossi, for those who don't know, is probably the most famous Italian singer alive. Maybe. He's certainly one of the biggest. Vasco Rossi in the beginning was kind of like the rock bad guy compared to the Italian melodic songs. Whoever was the guitarist for Vasco Rossi's band was the best guitarist in Italy, I guess. And uh, while his output was uh, a bit more, uh, let's say, rockish in the beginning, he became uh, really pop later on. I think he made some good songs. Some really good songs. At least the one I know. But I'm not following him for like 40 years, so I don't know what he has done lately. The problem is, I know people that love him and reverse him as a religion. And I know people that really despise him. And I'm wondering if people that really despise him is just because for some other people it's like a religion. So it's really like too much. Like, <laughs> it's not this perfect guy that only made great songs, actually quite the opposite. Actually, some of his songs were actual rip-offs until he decided to just do covers. I mean, uh, one of the songs in the, like 20 years ago was like his version of Creep by Radiohead, which was terrible. Then he also sang General, I think, by De Gregori. And also that, why? I guess he can do whatever he wants. I know Greg Bisonette played for him. Good drummer, Greg Bisonette. Yeah, maybe I'd rather talk about Greg Bisonette and the fact that he was with David Lee Roth. Greg Bisonette, Steve Vai, and was the bass player, which was really amazing. <laughs> Billy Sheehan. Yeah. Billy Sheehan. If you ever heard like Shy Boy or other of uh, his debut album as a solo artist, that was amazing. Anyway, Vasco can go and fuck himself. This cocktail is good.